So let's test that. If Al Bukhari slept about seven hours each night, subtract two more for meals and hygiene, take away three hours for traveling, writing, and teaching, one more for prayer, another hour for rest and transitions between tasks, and if we allow just a single hour for community and social life, that leaves only nine hours a day devoted to hadith. With those nine hours, the math works out to roughly five minutes per narration across 16 years, and even that is far too generous considering how demanding travel and investigation really were. When you do the math, the story just doesn't work. Even if some hadith were repeats, the amount of checking needed is way too much for one person. It's honestly way too much for multiple people. There just aren't enough hours in a lifetime to collect and verify that many. Those 5.3 minutes per hadith would have to include listening to the transmitter, writing the hadith down, investigating the reliability of the narrators, and assessing the authenticity of the content itself. It assumes no time off at all, almost as if Bukhari functioned like a machine, which shows just how unrealistic the numbers really are. Even repeated hadith narrations take time to assess. Every chain of transmission still has to be read, every narrator still has to be evaluated, every content line has to be noted, every report has to be cross-checked, and then another one. It's just impossible.